have another case of a new precision turbo blowing oil. So this is going to be a good educational video on how to fix your issue if you have a new precision turbo that's blowing oil. It's still ball bearing. This is the way it would be mounted when on the vehicle. So you have to think about this. Have you spied the problem yet? So this is a top mount. You'll have a top mount manifold there. Your oil drain is coming out almost horizontally. The problem is that the oil is getting puddled up on the opposite side over there. You just can't have the drain at an angle like that because the oil can't escape like it's supposed to. This, believe it or not, or not is very common I see this kind of a lot this guy drove the car five times before sending it to me you can see by the oil all over here and all over the backside there's so much oil coming out that it's more than your typical leaking oil seal the problem is that the oil can't drain so what's happening is the oils going through the feed here into the bearing housing but because the drain is so poorly angled, the oil is building up pressure inside of the cartridge and it's forcing it out the front and the back of the turbocharger. You can see this turbo only has just a little bit of rust on it, probably where it got raindrops on it. But otherwise, it's like a brand new turbo. When we take this apart, it's really hit or miss whether the seals were damaged the reason being is because if the seal on the rear is damaged, it's because when the oil is building up in the cartridge here, it's not able to remove the heat like it's supposed to. So the oil seal can wear out prematurely from that. But if you didn't run your vehicle that long, then sometimes you could get away with just fixing your oil drain alignment problem and the size of it. And you could just put it back together, clean up all this old oil, and it will be like a new turbocharger again. Here's a side view. The oil feed needs to be pulled up from here to up here. I think what some people don't know is that you can clock the bearing housing any way that you need it to be. So if you need this angle differently and this angle differently, you can angle those or rotate those around the bearing housing without any problems. Here's how much oil is leaking. Another cool trick that people like to do to make their precision turbo blow oil is to mount it like this. Where the oil can't escape the cartridge that way either. Very smart. So even more common than this type of problem, you'll see the oil drain being too small. So I highly recommend you go watch my other videos on that topic. I had another one on new precision turbo leaking oil. I think that was called New Precision Turbo Epic Fail. There's several videos I have out on these types of topics. So if you have a turbo that's blowing oil, then I recommend that you go and watch those videos just for good information to try to diagnose your problem. Usually if you have an issue where it's the turbo and it's journal bearing, you'll have some in and out shaft play. And that's a whole nother issue with their thrust bearings. But with the this one's ball bearing so with the ball bearing turbos those weren't as common to fail the only things I didn't like about them was the way they weren't really a press fit on the shaft and uh, based on talking to other turbo builders they say to add Loctite onto the shaft before you put it in so you don't have issues with the turbine shaft spinning inside of the inner race on the bearing which causes other problems if you have a precision turbo and you need a rebuild kit for that, I'll go ahead and link to the ones that I have available in the description box. There's a Gen 1 ball bearing rebuild kit and a Gen 2. Then there's also the journal bearing rebuild kit, which was the same for the 5431 all the way to the 6766 uh, journal bearing turbochargers. That's all for this video. If you like this type of video, you can always subscribe to watch other videos just like this one.